¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? Mi nombre es Fernando Silva Hildebrandt y te doy la bienvenida a otro especial de Onda Corta. Estos especiales cortitos en los que hablamos acerca de temas impresionantes, increíbles. En este caso vamos a hablar acerca de John Kill, el, por supuesto, famoso investigador del Mothman. Y lo vas a ver en exclusivo porque estos videos únicamente están en inglés traducido para Onda Corta explicando de dónde sale la historia del Mothman, del hombre polilla, y de todo lo que sucedía en el año 67, allí en la zona del río de Ohio y en Point Pleasant. Imperdible, un documento único, aquí, en este momento, en Onda Corta, en la señal Ciencia y Misterios. So they drove straight to the police station. 
Now, you have to realize in small towns, teenagers do not go to the police station voluntarily. <laughs> and the police were so convinced by their uh, behavior that, that they held a press conference the next day. And reporters from the local newspapers, from Charlotte and other cities around there, came to hear this very bizarre story of this flying man. At that time, Batman was very popular on television. So the newspapers labeled this creature Mothman. And that was the beginning of the Mothman caper, I guess you'd call it. And the, the next year, there were over 100 reports of this Mothman. Uh, some of the people who reported seeing this thing were not only adults, they were responsible adults like bankers and uh, local officials, the lady who was sort of the head of the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, in the Christmas season of 1967, in Point Pleasant, West Virginia, there was a bridge called the Silver Bridge that crossed the Ohio River. And on December 15, 1967, that bridge collapsed and it was loaded down with cars, uh, people who had been Christmas shopping, and that sort of, sort of put a damper on all my investigations. Because I knew some of the people who had gone down with the bridge. And some of these people had been Mothman witnesses. And so I did just one magazine article on the whole subject, and it was a short article, it was about 2,000 words. But I gave one talk on the radio about it. Now today, when you pick up any uh, encyclopedia of the strange or anything, it always says that John Keel is the center of the Mothman thing. And uh, one of the newspapers in West Virginia did a long editorial against me, saying that I was exploiting and the situation and making a big profit from it. Of course, little do they know I made no profit at all from it.